I'm going to be showing you guys how to get my MSI Afterburner settings that I use to do all my videos. So first, if you guys don't already have it, make sure to get MSI Afterburner. So just search MSI Afterburner in Google or whatever. Go to this page and then here we go. Go click on downloads and do download MSI Afterburner. Okay, so what you want to do is just open this up and just double click. Usually what I like to do, I just drag this to the desktop and extract it. And just wait for it to extract. And it's going to have an exe file, just double click. Um, just hit OK um, and go through the installation. Okay guys, so it's going to be two applications. It's going to be MSI Afterburner right here you're installing and then also the Rivetuner statistics server. You use this to customize all your stuff. So let's go through all the installation stuff. And once you have it installed, open this window up and then hit the cog wheel. And then over here, click on monitoring. This is how you're going to select which items you want to have on your on screen display. So most people want to have the GPU usage. So if you want to have that, just make sure it's check marked and click on show on screen display. And just follow the steps for each one you want. So, for example, some people like doing GPU temperature. So if you want to do that, check. make sure it's checkmarked and do show on on-screen display. The same for memory usage, do show in on-screen display, core clock, I sometimes do memory clock. Um, you can do CPU temperature on all of your cores if you want, but just to keep it simple, I just do the temperature just for the overall. And then I also do CPU usage, and you can also do CPU usage for all your cores, but I'd recommend just doing it for this the overall. And then I like doing core clock as well, just so you guys see what my CPU is clocked at. And then here's RAM usage. And then down here, here's how I get my frame rate average. This is something that a lot of people actually don't know how to do. So make sure this is checkmarked and do show an OSD to get the frame rate average and also do the same for frame rate and I believe that's that's all I have checkmarked really and if you guys want to do the 0.1% lows and 1% lows you can checkmark those too so in order to, to do the average frame rate and these other ones what you have to do is you have to go over to benchmark and you have to set a key bind for begin recording and end recording so basically when you begin recording it'll start recording the averages and the 0.1 and 1% lows and all that so just set it I usually like to do F7 and then do F10 to end so if I don't want the average to show up anymore I would press F10 if I want to show it again I do F7 and then also what I do is I have some toggles for showing the on-screen display. So basically if I want to have my on-screen display to show up, I press F5 and then to hide it I do F6. And here's another thing I want to show you guys. So I actually I name each category. So as you guys can see I have GPU usage and GPU temperature and both of those I override the group name and I name it GPU. You guys can do the same. For memory, I just have it labeled mem. For core clock, I have it labeled GPU. So basically these three are going to show up in the same category. I believe memory usage and memory clock are both under mem, so they will show up under the next category. And CPU usage and CPU temperature and CPU clock are all under CPU. And RAM usage is by itself. And then I have frame rate average set as AVG for average. And then frame rate, I have it just FPS. And I believe that's pretty much all when it comes to the MSI Afterburner app. But next, I'm going to show you guys what you can do in the Rivetuner statistics server. So by default, it'll be set to Vector2D, which is a really ugly text. So I'd recommend go to click on Raster3D and then click on the little arrow right here. And you can change what font you want to use. So here's the font I use. If you guys want to download it, you can. 
I'm not sure if it comes installed on your computer or not, but this, yeah, this is the font I use. Or just pick like Adobe Black or something, or just something that shows up well, and just hit OK. And then if you guys want to make the on-screen display bigger or smaller, you can change the on-screen display zoom, or you can also change the font size. But I'd recommend just using the on-screen display zoom. And that's pretty much it when it comes to using MSI Afterburner.